hello guys in this tutorial we're gonna be creating a Twitter share button to your website so I'm gonna first create the index.html file of my imaginary website right here index.html and create a HTML known as Twitter share in the title so I'm gonna reload that page right here as you can see it is working right now so I'm gonna create a button right now and class uh, tweet so let's call it tweet button also so I'm, I'm gonna use the embedded versions of CSS right here style uh, types text CSS and that's it I'm gonna use the tweet buttons uh, background color I don't remember the background color so please wait while I watch it so okay this is Twitter uh, Twitter's color right here light blue and I have found it on Google you can just search Twitter blue on Google and we need the Twitter icon for that I'm gonna use font awesome so to install font awesome I can use uh, inside this folder I'm gonna go back a little bit uh, and go to tutorials and Twitter share and I'm gonna use bother to install uh, font awesome okay okay now it is done so as you can see in the font awesome folder you have all the components that you need for font awesome and the font awesome is basically actually uh, a kind of a font that contains all the icons we need in uh, web development actually it has plus icons uh, social media icons and all the things you can use the cheat sheet I, I, I li uh, link in the description down below you can watch that cheat sheet uh, and then you can uh, code in your program so Right here, I'm gonna link to a style sheet, link to the font awesome, and hyper reference goes to Bover components font awesome, and then inside font awesome, uh, CSS font awesome, CSS font awesome dot min dot CSS, and that's it. The next, uh, you have also CSS files, CSS files, which I'm not going to use, and that's pretty much it. So, right here, I'm going to have, inside the button, I'm going to have an I of class FAFA Twitter. And uh, the color is going to be white. And I'm going to create a padding of 10 pixels to 15 pixels, and then just border radius into 15 pixels. So I'm gonna just reload it. Ah, ah. There you go. I'm uh, I'm just going to stop this right here. Ah, you can use. You can see it is working right now. So there you go. The button is working, and the styling for the button is pretty much enough, I guess. So let's get into the coding portion. So I'm gonna create a script of type. Uh, text JavaScript and define a function known as uh, get URL. So what it gonna do is get the URL that the user has to go in order to uh, in order to actually go to the share 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 uh, in the Twitter website. So it's gonna return something. Uh, uh, so it is gonna return this twitter.com slash intent slash tweet and the query string goes to text is gonna be equal to uh, so we're gonna specify this text in the top and the URL in the top so these are the things that is that the user is gonna share so the text is gonna be uh, so, so so let's just set it to something like this the text is gonna be document dot title and the and URL is gonna be document dot location so it is gonna share the current current page of of the website so so let's add an ID to this share no, tweet button and I'm gonna find out tweet button let's just call it tweet button right here too and document dot get element by id 
feed button and that's it inside feed button dot uh, dot dot add event listener uh, click function goes to uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna test if it works hello yes it is working and I'm gonna type get URL URL so what I'm gonna do is just create a new window and then go to this URL so this is one of the functions that I found on Stack Overflow which is really useful to create custom uh, windows or pop-ups so it is in the description down below so thanks for that person who shared that and it is a pop-up into the center it makes a pop-up into the center so I'm gonna make it right now so I'm gonna get the URL and pop-up center and the URL and the title okay the URL is gonna be URL and the title is gonna be share to Twitter something like that and the width and height as I remember for uh, 590 and 253 so let's let's just run that out and see how that works I'm sorry now as you can see it is actually working but the problem is uh, I don't have a working internet connection right here so see you guys in the next video